What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to some more of The Cat Lady. In the last episode, we made it to this woman, and she screams misery as if there's something wrong. No, I really shouldn't even think about it. Think about what? Um, I, I, I'm at the point where I don't know what to do. Use. I don't know if I know who I'm marrying me, but if I do, I'll be wearing this dress, that's for sure. Really? That's weird. I cut? I can't cut anything. Okay, I can't seem to do anything here. Can I do anything with these mirrors? Nope. Okay, you know what? You know, we're not gonna even... We're not gonna even... Nope. Um, this is a new recording session. I haven't recorded in a while. So, that's a thing, but I really don't want... I, remember, I definitely remember Misery Girl. Um, although I do remember being stuck at this point. Okay, we can't do anything with... Okay. Can we use the power lead? I can't use it here. Screwdriver? Nothing to unscrew here. Hmm. Can we screw her? Haha, <laughs> I don't know. Um, use nothing to unscrew here. Okay, well, I don't know. Stab her in the brain, something. Because I know we did unlock these, but they didn't really do anything. They moved the mirrors, and she doesn't seem to like that very much, but what does that accomplish? Can I pull it again? That just resets it, does it not? Yeah, it resets it. I feel like I would might understand better what this does if I knew what the book misery- Oh, that's a different position! I still don't really know what that accomplishes. She doesn't seem to like it, though. Oh, I guess let's let's listen to our misery again. Misery. <laughs> it's terrifying. Misery, yes, misery. misery. Oh, that was a different sound, wasn't it? Maybe. Maybe. Can I hang back? I don't know. Okay, well, even though it's right at the beginning of the episode, I guess I'm gonna figure out what to do. So, fast forward away. Okay, so the only thing I could think of that would be a solution to this puzzle is to get all the mirrors facing her. I know the mirrors, when you press, you can press the switch, the left switch four times, you get four different, like, kind of combinations. I don't know at what point to press the other switch, though. Like, see, we'll go to the third one here. See, that looks like all the mirrors are f Oh, no, not the top one. Like, I don't know, this is really confusing. I have no idea what I'm doing. But it doesn't really help, because the angle this game is played at, at least this scene in particular, like, it doesn't really show... in particular, like, what the mirrors are point- I mean, some of them do, but I mean... It's hard to tell. I don't know. It's very confusing, yeah? Yeah. Oh. Oh. So it goes left, left, right, left. Left. Left, left, right, left, left. Left, left, right, left. Okay, so two right, two lefts. Okay, I got it. Two lefts. Yes, left. See, the mirrors are reset at that point, which is weird. Right. Left. Left! This, uh, this looks to be the correct positioning, so let's see if this works. Hello? Eh. Uh, eh, uh, that didn't seem to work. Nothing's different. Maybe the mirrors weren't reset when I tried this? Yeah, yeah, misery. I got it. Calm down. Calm yo panties, you decorpsed. Decorpsed. <laughs> um, okay, a wardrobe. Chair. Let's see if they could find any other clues here. Oh! 
It's right, right, left, right, right. Not left, left. So it's... Okay, I see. I did that wrong. Whoa. That was weird. She's still freaking out. Okay, so it's two rights. So I just messed up the order there. I blame OC... Or not OCD. I blame, um... Dyslexia on that one. <laughs> okay, pull the left switch. There we go. Pull the right. Now, theoretically, this should do something. There we go. Now she can see her ugly mug. She finds it very amusing for some weird reason. Hmm. Well. No. Yes. No. 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 This is an Ivy. This isn't is my it? wife. Yeah, it's the monster. Burner. It followed me here. Burn it it always follows me. No matter what I do. Look, I'm, I'm sorry. Am I the monster? You must kill it. What? Oh, okay. Why me? You still got that power lean, haven't you? The one you stole from me. How do you even know about it? Because it's you a freaking power lean. You to kill her. To strangle her. You're out of your mind. Do I'm gonna it. do it. Fine. Strangle the goddamn creature so it never follows me again, or I'll shoot you right here, right now. Right here, right now, right here, right now. Come if you want, but I won't do that. Well, clearly this is like a messed up spirit, so maybe we should. But I won't do that. You're with her. I should have guessed. I can't what? trust you. You're better I mean, off dead. I mean, in the present time, he's pretty evil. But I mean, clearly this misery girl over here is probably not a very good person. Okay, just shoot me. Come on, get it over with. Are you gonna check it out? Oh, there we go. We're back! Are you alright, Mrs. A? You look like you've seen a ghost. I have. I... Okay. Something strange happened. I wonder what would happen if I'd chosen to strangle Maybe I her. I am mad after all. Don't be silly. I was gone for less than one minute. Really? Well then. Somehow it felt longer than that. That's what she said. Boy, oi, oi, wait, I'm what? <laughs> you've got nothing to do, I guess. Yeah. I see you found the laptop cable. That's good news, because I don't think mine will be any good. Let's see what's on this hard drive, shall we? Why not? You just said it was the same one. It's probably not going to be him. Well, that was a waste of time. Never mind. At least now we're sure it's not him. Let's just go. Mm, I thought I for sure it'd be this guy. Minute in this place. Well, should we not, like, you know, call the police? Hey, did you think something? of a vegetable? What? Carrot? I'd asked you to think of a vegetable while I was gone. So I, I, I don't remember this. Did you? Cabbage? I... Yeah. Car she's sure. gonna say carrot. Great. Right. No, don't was. tell me. Was it? It's cabbage. Nope. Don't say carrot. You're gonna carrot. say carrot. Ah, oh, snap. Yes. Ah, sure. L let's a amuse her. Carrot. That's amazing. How did you know? That's the secret. I can't tell you that, Mrs. A. Or else it's a magic trick anymore. Everyone mind goes the carrot. I guess because carrot's one of the time. most okay, common vegetables. Okay, don't get too big headed now. Sure, but I am the greatest. <laughs> Look, I only said it was carrot to be nice. In fact, <laughs> I thought about celery. Uh, I wasn't snap. going to say, but you leave me no choice. Yeah, right. Yes. We're evil. Now, let's go. Joe can come back any minute, and you don't want to meet him. Yeah. He is not a nice guy. Freaking Joe Hills. <laughs> I know he's a YouTube guy, but I've never watched Joe Hills, so I don't know anything about him. Me no no. Okay, that leaves one guy left. That leaves Brian. Unless it's not him. <gasps> you know what? It's totally not going to be him. That's, that's too obvious, right? Way too obvious. Okay, um, ground floor, I don't, uh, I'm having a hard time remembering what the heck happened last time since it's been a long time. Oh, actually not that long, maybe a week or two. Um, I do know we need to go downstairs. I know we can mess around with the dress and mask and stuff. We gotta scare him, right? These things look like giant, these pipes or whatever, they look like giant cocoons. I apologize if I'm tired. I've been awake since 7 a.m. 
Um, pry it open. You could pry it open with the scissors, probably, right? Hang back. Hang back. Hang back. Oh, hang back. Na, 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 to me. To me. Oh, can we not? Can we use a screwdriver to pry it, please? Yes. Can you just leave pry use it open with a screw center be pry? Yeah, no. Done. I can pick up the tin now. Open. Oh, it's open. Take it. Take it. Take it. There we go. Put it in our bag. Uh, I get the feeling Mitzi's gonna die soon. That's gonna be very traumatizing, actually. Examine. Not a great color for your bedroom walls, but it would be perfect for writing threatening messages on the walls instead. It'll work for Joe Davis, anyways, unless, of course, those three sixes on his bathroom were actually written in real blood. I wonder. Okay, so I'm assuming we're gonna cut. What? Seriously? Wait, what? What did it say? To figure out how to make the dress black. How the heck do we do that? Ah, oh, crap! What am I supposed to do now? So, Talk to her. what next? Yeah, what Didn't next? Did you say you wanted to get revenge on Brian from Flat Six? Let's work on that one now. Where, how do I make black? What's the wall about? Strange. This wall looks fresh. Scissors. I don't know. Um. Well, crap. This has been so long. This might take a while to figure out what the heck to do. Um, can we cut? I don't know. This sucks. Poop. I want, want, want. Okay, well, I guess I'll see you guys momentarily. Let's read this. Oh, can we make the dress black with the coal shoe? Oh, we can. Okay, good. I didn't have to go far. If I had to like, go upstairs, I would have been really confused. Black is my color. I like it so much better now. Yeah. Okay, thank you for being an easy solution. Uh, hang back. All right, now spill some blood. Blood. Please spill some blood. Okay. Cut it. I'm just gonna use the paint as well, or uh oh, I don't like your. We thinking. need to make some adjustments. Oh, oh, okay. This is good news, right? Yes, it is. Okay, I thought she was gonna say, "Let's find something else to do first. There we go. Now this is a dress worthy of the cat widow. I thought it was the cat lady. <laughs> Why don't you admit it was too small for you? Ha ha, bloody ha. Why don't you Fat just shut up? Funny. Whoever wore this dress probably hadn't eaten in years. You'd struggle to get a skeleton into it. Not a skeleton. Spooky, this is scary it. skeleton. We've got all we need. Yes, we do. Great. Are you going to tell me about the cat widow now? Oh yeah, this is a story, isn't it? Yes. I forgot it's about this. story time, Mitzi. Yes, millions of excitements are within me. The legend says there was once a bad man who hated cats. How that's He hated his neighbors too, and his job. Oh, that's not. And really when it me. rained, he'd curse and smash things. That's totally. He me. hated his bald head and his weak, ugly body. <laughs> he probably Stop hated himself me. the most, although he would never admit it. I think I see where this is going. One day. Out of pure hatred for the whole world and everything that lives, he captured a family of cats and drowned them all in the river. What a terrible, 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 that terrible day, person. The sun turned black and all the birds went silent as the six kittens struggled for life. For but six kittens? Trapped in a strong canvas bag, they never had a chance. They all died that day, all but one. Is the mother teacup? cat, in a desperate fight to set herself free, by pure luck, clawed her way out of the bag and swam to the shore. She lost everything that day. Her beautiful children and her proud husband. Her oh. heart crashed into pieces as she watched their limp dead bodies stolen by the current. Well then. Running after them, 
She followed them for days, for as long as she could. Then, eventually, kittens she for lost days. Sight of them. She stayed on the bank of the river for a while. The world stopped turning for her. Her eyes empty and blind. And then, one day, she slowly slid down the bank and into the cold, dark water. She gave in to it. She let the river take her away too, cover her mouth, her ears, her eyes. But as the water filled her lungs, and she started slipping into darkness, there was another strange feeling that burst in her mind like a ball of flames. Anger, rage even, her last craving, before she drowned, was for revenge, for and blood. And she never got it. And so she returned, oh. reborn and changed, a cat widow, veiled in black, mistress of the cats. So is this a little her body cat? of a young woman, but oh. her eyes of a cat, and her face white rotten oh, we got, face of a corpse we got the right mask then saw it rarely lived to tell the tale she would cool. get her revenge on all cat killers and cat torturers but there was someone she had to see first i wonder if this is a chill someone story special. someone she really hated the most Are you actually doing this as though? the evening came it was strangely quiet in the man's flat as he lived alone, he usually liked to fill the silence with the sound of radio or TV shows. But that night, he switched them all off, feeling anxious and tired after work. So is this actually us now, or is this still like the original tale? A tale of two cats. He tried to sleep, but couldn't. Cut. And for once, there wasn't anyone there he could blame for it. God, fear is God, Phoenix Railways. He through the window. He kept thinking about how much he hated that view. <laughs> oh, Brian, he you're liked so it once, screwed. A long time ago, when his wife was still there and they were happy together, suddenly he heard knocking on the door. Some part of him was glad because that meant he could take it out on whoever decided to bother him. <laughs> nope, not happening. Guess what, Brian? It's time to wakey poo. Like that computer that's totally proving he's the eye of Adam. It's not gonna be him though. It's totally gonna be me somehow, some way. I don't know how or why, but it's totally gonna be me. Because Brian's the most obvious person. And whenever it's whenever the person would seem most obvious, I don't think it's gonna be. There a was thing. nobody there. Hey, that's the same pillar we saw in the basement. Felt disappointed. But before he turned to walk away, he suddenly noticed something down the hall. Yes, I shall a cat. You also shout off the figure standing. Dead body of disembodied cats. On a nearby wall, there was a giant shadow of a cat. Ooh. Meow. But it's gonna be me. What? Where did it go? Silly little cat. Why did my inventory just pop up? He stopped again. That was weird. He Pop couldn't up believe his eyes. Uh, some cat killer on his door. There are cat skulls stuck now. See, it's like there's cat skulls. This girl stands, or this cat stands up for cats. It doesn't. Not gonna put a skull. Some little asshole on his door. Someone <laughs> wrote "cat killer" on his door. That sounds most like the best way to go. Whoa! That was so fast. We got ninjas on the scene right now. See, there's my inventory again. He had a passion for trains. Although he hated being a train driver, he had always enjoyed watching them move. How? What? How can you love trains but hate being a train driver? That means, that'd be like the dream job for him, would it not? But now, his train model was moving all on its own. G -g -g Ghosts! He was absolutely certain he'd left it switched off. And yet, there it was. Running at crazy speed. Remote control missing. Something was seriously wrong. And that something had entered his home now, too. Are you scaring me yet? 
I'm gonna go boo. I want to hiss out of my. It is a nice flat. He hoped he was just imagining things. <laughs> yeah, right. Tired as he was, but there was another surprise waiting for him in his bedroom. Uh, giant blood-soaked zombie cat was sitting on his bed. Cat widow cat is here. Was widow written is all here. over the wall. Was written all over the wall. How did they do this? This is magic. I'd be pretty amazed. As it, as in a dream. Wait, as in a dream, he went to the kitchen to get a drink. Getting really scared, I decided to call. Oh, nope, he's dream, not calling the police. He went to the kitchen to get a drink. Nope, that sounds like a bad idea for to let him call the police. Although he might intercept them before that would have happened, anyways. Scratch his window. I go meow. <laughs> Neat. There was no water. He knew there were valves in the basement that turned it off, but no one's been down there for years. Ah. He felt sick. None of this made any sense. Good thing a little blood and came yet, out of it. Deep down, he knew what he did to the cats was wrong. There was a part of him that almost wanted to be punished. The part he tried so hard to hide. I wonder who, at what point he's he gonna go. Who the heck's saying all this? Why is there a narrator? Was there someone there life? with him? Ooh. Why can't Susan be this freaking slick His all head the time? Was spinning. He felt ambushed, trapped, like an animal. Probably grab a he knife or something. Get really. out of there. Get really scared. I Getting decided to really call the police. Now. He decided to call the police. But that's not gonna happen, now, is it? I push him. Go, 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 go. Don't let him dial the number. Susan. His phone was of no use. Yes. The SIM card had been removed. Dang. And that wasn't even the worst part. How did we there plan for this? There was a photo this? of a black cat set as screensaver. What? He remembered what? this cat. He'd watched that strange pest control man put it in a cage and into his van. What did happen to that cat? Was He'd that teacup? He'd through the window like for a while. Then pulled the curtains and went to bed. I would not be able to sleep when there's cat... Widow written all over my freaking wall. I'll tell you that much right now. He stopped, paralyzed. He'd heard something right in front of him. A whisper. More like a purr. A purr what? A purpose? A purr? She a purr apple? <laughs> in the dark corner of his living room, waiting. Black veil covering that pale, dead face. Oh. And yet. He could almost I thought she was feel facing the wall for a second. Eyes piercing through him. Doesn't it look like she's facing the wall right now? And like the veil is actually hair or something? Anyways, I'm going to call an episode here. I guess next time you guys are going to have to wait and find out what's going to happen to Brian. And wait for him to find out to not actually be the Eye of Adam. Because it's just too obvious. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like, subscribe if you're not already. My name's Chris, and I'll see you guys next time for some more of the Catalady. Peace.